Mr. McQuaid, am I right if I say that uh, in a couple of days, London, we lost the probably the best uh, cycling event ever? I do think so, yeah. Um, when you look at the circumstances bringing us into London, we have uh, the success of the Sky Team in the Tour de France, success of Bradley Wiggins. We have uh, Mark Cavendish, who won the test event last year in London, went on after that to become world champion and is going in as one of the favourites for the race. So with, with, the, with the huge popularity of cycling in Britain now, that will start with the road race with probably the biggest crowd ever seen at an Olympic Games road race. And I'm predicting something close to a million people could be on the roadside and then continue through the other disciplines. Yeah, Olympics is something very special. And once again, as you said, cycling, road cycling got the honor to, to open this event. Yes, as, as we have done the last couple of Olympic Games, because road cycling has that opportunity to portray the backdrop, to portray and pass by the iconic buildings and, and the, the beautiful regions of, of whatever city it might be in. And in this case in London, it starts in the Mall and goes straight away past Buckingham Palace. And likewise, that will be the finish at the end of the day. And it goes out through Richmond Park by Hampton Court Palace and on out into the countryside where the race itself will really unfold. And um, so it's... it's passing some of the best parts of, of London and, and showcasing that. It's the first day of the, of the Games and we'll be showcasing the city. Knowing the, the great passion of the, of the British people, uh, we can also say that uh, the atmosphere into the velodrome will be simply huge. Oh, it'll be absolutely huge. I mean, it's a magnificent velodrome to begin with. Um, and the, 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 I mean, track cycling in, in Britain is, is on a high and has been since um, you know, started in Sydney, then went on to Athens, and then huge success in Beijing. They're hoping to equal that success in London, and so the support they will have from the home crowd will be incredible. And it's it's going to be an amazing atmosphere in the velodrome, certainly. We don't have to forget BMX and mountain bike. Both these disciplines will also contribute to the great success of cycling over the two Olympics week. Indeed, the second week uh, starts with you know, when the track finishes, we go straight into BMX and then into mountain biking. And uh, BMX was hugely popular in, in Beijing, and of course they've got Shanzi Reid, who's a, a, a big, you know, ex world champion, and who will be looking to win the Olympic medal in our home ground. And uh, the 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 discipline will be hugely popular. It's 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 a discipline which is exploding, not just in Britain but around Europe and around the world. Uh, and then the mountain biking, likewise, you know, Britain has a has a long. Um, and very good success rate in mountain biking and it's taken place out in a beautiful circuit out in, in, in Essex and it, it really, the, as I say, it adds up the four disciplines of cycling will bring a lot to the Olympic Games and indeed the Olympic Games will bring a lot to the four disciplines of cycling. So the personal uh, advice from the UCI president, don't miss the best of cycling in London? Don't miss the best of cycling and follow it closely, it's going to be absolutely amazing and going to, I think it's going to be one of the big successful high spots of sport in the Olympic Games. Thank you, Mr. President, and enjoy the Olympic Games in London. I certainly intend to.